for any of the players, how do you guys rationalize when you play these money games on the road and get dominated? How do you keep it together, confidence and so forth? Bajou? Um, I mean, honestly, we, uh, you know, we, we step forward with the game plan and we have, you know, certain targets that we need to meet so that we give ourselves a great chance to win. And usually when, when we, um, you know, have a, have a bad loss like that in these money games, we don't meet those goals. And so, you know, we can find where we messed up or we made mistakes and we weren't hit, hitting the goals that we wanted to get to. And so I, I think, you know, you kind of keep that mindset that, you know, as, as long as we're getting to these goals, we have a chance against anybody. And I think uh, when we see that, you know, we messed up and, you know, these are the mistakes and these are all the little details we didn't get right, and it leads to that, you know, we get it in our minds, or we should be getting it in our minds, that we need to make sure that we get these things done right so that we give ourselves better chances to win. Dave, can we look at that from a realistic standpoint? So their favorite tour they went on? Michigan State was picked to be in the Final Four Friday night. They beat us by about 35. We, 31? 29. We get in the bus and we drive to Michigan the next day. We play the most physical team in America. We travel to Michigan the next day. And, what's that? Hold on, I, 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 get that. <laughs> I like it. I like you know the numbers. We travel to Michigan and play against a team that went to the Final Four. And we're up to the championship game, and we're up two with eight minutes to go, and we lose. And then Sunday we get on a plane and we fly to VCU, and we play against a pressing team that presses the whole game after doing what we've just done. And he has a chance with 150 to go at a three to tie the game. So I don't know exactly what the formula is, but whatever it is, we've figured it out that we know that you can't let one lead to two. And you've got to be able to wash out and move on. What makes this year senior class different from past years? Sorry? What makes this year senior class different from past years? I think the one thing about these particular guys as well that have been here the longest and JT sat out, and I think you guys forget because it's human nature, when they came in, they replaced 8,500. There's not another team in America that lost 8,500 points in back-to-back -back years and said, okay, guys, keep us going. And these guys did that. So what they've had to overcome and what they've accomplished, though it hasn't been this yet, but what they've overcome and what they've accomplished, I couldn't be more proud. And how they represent us, and the, I live at the beach now, so I run into a whole lot more people because I, I run all the time. And the people that say things to me about these guys and about the game, after the game, in the mall, at this place, like, it's amazing how much impact. Coach Moon said it best. I'll never forget. I'll give him the credit for it. The bullseye in the center's got the biggest bang. And these guys have done an incredible job for this university, and they should be proud of that aspect. And you should be as representatives of our school. Yeah, well, what's the outlook for Carter this year, Coach? You know, Carter, I didn't mention Carter, did I? Thank you. <laughs> if you said to me who's probably the most improved and the one you think has got a chance to really move on to the next whatever, all these guys would say, Carter, were you thinking it? Carter. Yeah, you, you could have you could have net nudged me on that. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Carter has probably had the best summer Puerto Rican tour and then preseason than anybody. Um, he had the best plus minus, he had the best I mean he's He's been phenomenal. And the thing is that he doesn't have to make shots to make an impact. And he can rebound the ball at any level. He can pass. And he's got great, great, great toughness. Great toughness. And um, Carter is just, he's great to be around. Um, he, he's, he's a different person in the sense that he really loves human beings. And he really wants to make a difference in our world. And, um, and I apologize for, for not, I'm not sorry, because we're not using that word anymore. We decided sorry is no longer used unless you run somebody over the car. So I apologize <laughs> for not for not mentioning Carter. I should have. Will Carter be the fifth starter right yes. now? Yes. And it doesn't matter whatever else happens, anybody else, yes. 
uh, kind of building off the question two questions ago for the players, does it feel like there is a target on you guys this year? Does it feel different this year because of the expectations? Uh, I guess you could say yes, but the goal always has been to win. We just want to win more this year and get one of those and close to that this year. Uh, that's, that's, that's the main goal this year. This, we're going to try We're going to try to get it. That's, that's it this year. That's, we want to win, win, win. That's it. Yeah, I, I think more of the focus has been on us and, you know, what we can do instead of, you know, what outside, you know, things are saying or doing or what they're worried about. And so, you know, the focus on us has been we want to win. And so that's Isn't that the song we play? I want to win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> no. Different one, though. Different one. Different one. That's not the song? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a song. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and your brother critiques your games, uh, your brother who plays in the mm -hmm. NBA. Down the street. What, what does he say? He plays for the Magic this year. Um, it's, it's interesting. We uh, we have a really cool relationship. Um, I, he's, he's just an amazing brother. But, um, you know, usually he's, he's not very critical of me. Um, I usually come to him when I'm having any issues or I'm worried about something. And uh, basically, what he'll just tell me is, you know, you, you've made it to the Division One level. Um, you, you know, you've already done some pretty good things. You, you just got to keep believing in yourself, um, having confidence in what you know how to do best, and you know, just continue playing. Um, and mo most of our uh, conversations revolve around just, you know, enjoying time as a family and uh, you know, just being good brothers to each other. It's close. And it's calling my yeah. I, I assume having a brother in the NBA means you're not one of those college players who doesn't have a coat for the winter. Yeah. Um I mean my my brother, um, you know, he's he's done some incredible things with his life and um, you know, he's he's reaped a lot of success uh, monetarily and you know, I'm happy for him, you know, being able to amass some wealth. But, um, you know, as his brother, you know, I, I wish the best for him, but, you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, take anything from him. Um, you know, I like, I like to be able to get it on my own. So, um, you know, I try to manage my own, you know, finances, you know, that as a college student. Um, and uh, if it means not having the nicest jacket, it's all right. But, um, you know, it helps me to have more drive and motivation to, you know, get my own things. What kind of car do you drive? I don't have a car. <laughs> Can you walk us through, because um, you did test the NBA waters, what that what that experience was like this past spring? Um, it, it's uh, incredible to have a coach like Coach Driscoll. Um, you know, he's very knowledgeable and, you know, kind of walked me through the process and, you know, uh, gave me a realistic view of, you know, what would be happening. And um, I, uh, I I wanted to see you know possibly if I could get any interest and in, you know get a workout in or two. Um, so you know, coach kind of helped me through the process and um, he kind of dealt with um, managing my interest you know from certain teams and I just got to focus on getting better you know working out um, trying to be the best I can be so that when I get the opportunity I can shine. Um, but unfortunately. Um, I didn't get any workouts, um, and so you know, it just it just kind of gave me more motivation for this year to you know try to try to be as good as I can be. Matthew, what uh, what credentials do you have to marry JT? How how do you pull that off? I have a uh, one of our people that work here a long time ago was marrying one of our other workers. So it's two UNF people, and they called me after the snowstorm in NJIT. We're stuck in the airport at the 29 inches, and they said, Coach, we'd like to have a spiritual person that knows us well officiate our wedding. Would you mind going to get your credentials and, and doing it for us? So I did. And then next thing you know, I married Trent Mackey, and then I married one of my former assistants, Jeremy Shiat, of incredible out in Phoenix, and then, and then JT. So it, it's, it's really cool to have the ability to do that. JT, when I got married, I do second. I do uh, renewal too. You want to renew your vows? I can do that. <laughs> when I got married, I just left the preacher twenty bucks. 
Did you give him any money for taking care of your ceremony? <laughs> and that's not an NCAA violation, by the way. You can pay the coach all you want. <laughs> Anything else? Just a heads up. So, just for you guys that know, he's already got a thousand points in both, all three of these guys. They're within range this year to have a thousand. We could have another group. We have four guys with a thousand points on the same on the floor at the same time. So this is a really special group. So with that, we're done. We'll piece the players and coach.